Okay, so I'm going to show you how to sharpen your 90 degree graver with the power hone and the dual angle fixture. To start off with, you want to make sure that these bolts uh, are both facing up. See how there's all these bolts here? Right, so this one, this first one goes side to side, and then this one turns it up and down. I'm going to show you an example of what that looks like when it's not because you can turn this all the way around and now we have one bolt uh, facing the bottom and then we have one facing the top and then one on the side. For our purposes here you want to have all of those bolts facing up or these two facing up anyway. So at the top here you see there's this little notch and then there's these numbers. We want to get this as close to zero as possible and I'm going to need to look at it here. Once I get it to zero, I tighten that down pretty good because I don't want it to move. So that is what it looks like at zero. Again, bolts at the top, bolt on the side. So right now this, this top one, this top angle is tightened. Now we need to do this one. The easiest way to do this, to make sure that you have it done right, you can either hold it like this, or maybe easier to put it on the rod that comes with your, with your machine. Unscrew this other one, and then turn it down. And you're gonna turn that down to 45. That as close as I can. Get that nice and tight again. These two, the side one, and this one right here, this top one, uh, need to be tight. Otherwise, it will move when you turn this on, and then your angle will not be 45. So, what we're trying to do, the reason why we put this at 45, is that that top part, this part right here. This is the face of the graver, and that is at a 45 degree angle, and we are gonna start by grinding that down. Then we have this other bolt here, and if we look at it through the front, you can see that there's little jaws in here. You know, unscrew it, and you can see it opening and closing. This is where we clamp the graver down. And in this case, this part is the front, you want the graver to go through the back here. So I'm going to turn it to the side here so you can kind of see that. Goes through the back, comes out there. Now I have this graver inside of a handle. So it's going to come out. I'm about to see. I'm going to clamp it down. I think it's going to come out maybe about half an inch. Oh, that's more than half an inch. It's probably close to an inch. So I have that clamped down in there upside down. You see how that's upside down? The little ramp is going upward like that. So we're trying to sharpen this part right here. This is the bottom of the graver. And I'm going to inspect it to make sure it's in there straight. Look at the side. So the side it looks straight. Good to go there. And then if you look at it from the front, it is in there straight. Okay, always need to make sure it's in there straight. If it's not, it's not gonna sharpen properly. Sharpen at a crazy angle, and that is no good. Okay, so we have our machine here, got a rod. This goes underneath, put that on top. Oop. And just to show you what this looks like before I turn it on, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have it turn on to where it's rotating this way. It's like this, the, the graver is pointing in the direction which it's going to turn. This machine will turn either way, but in this case, I'm gonna have it go uh, turning counterclockwise. There's a little button down here that you cannot see from here, but if you have your machine there, you can see the button. You can either press on the left or the right. Press the one on the right to make it go counterclockwise. There's a little arrow on there that shows counterclockwise. Uh, turn the machine on first before I put it on there. So I'm going to press that button. It's 
going to turn it on and I'm going to start with this 260 wheel to grind it down. In this case, this graver was already sharpened, so I didn't really need to do it for that long. If you are having to restore an angle on it, you're going to have to do it till it's just one angle. Or if, if you chipped it, then you'll need to do it until it's sharp again. To test the sharpness of the graver, you just poke it gently into your thumbnail. If it doesn't go anywhere, you're good to go. Um, but if you have magnification, if you have a microscope, if you have a loop or something like that around you, the best thing to do is to look at the point under magnification because sometimes the side of the point can be broken and it will stick into your thumb anyway. So that can throw you off and just in general, if it feels weird, if it's not cutting the way that it should because you felt it cut well before because you had it sharpened well before, uh, then just resharpen. I'm gonna go down the 600 wheel here, do the same thing at 600. And you can do that for give or take 30 seconds should be fine. I wasn't counting, I probably did it for 20. Same thing here. All right. Okay, so that last wheel was a 1200 wheel, so we just went in order to 60, 600, and then 1200. Now what I need to do is get the burr off of this point because whenever you grind the graver, a burr can pop up. So I'm gonna poke it into this wood part of the cork. The, that gets the burr off pretty, pretty easily. Now the next fun part, you have two more angles to put on this. And that is the heel. The heel is on the bottom of the graver. So we just sharpened the top part. I just did that, that face right there. So now we need to do this bottom part. So what I'm gonna do is take the graver out, flip it over. I didn't really take it out, I just flipped it over. But you can take it out and flip it over if you want to. And I'm gonna make sure that's in there straight. It was not in there straight initially because I was holding it up to the, to the camera so you could see it. And that's the type of sacrifice that I, that I make for you. Get it clamped real nice. Clamped in there straight, face up, bolts up again, bolt to the side. All right, this time, the heel or lift because it's called a lift because you can actually lift the graver up because you put this angle on so the lift is going to be at 15 degrees so last time you had 45 degrees on that that up and down one this time it is 15 degrees and you can put it on here if that makes it easier for you so i can see that is leaning down 15 degrees. Okay, we're not done yet. We're gonna have to put an angle on both sides here. I'm gonna turn it to my right to 45 degrees. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Get that clamped in tight. So that is what that looks like. So we still see that bolt at the top. We see the notch there, and we see that it's at 45, okay? Now, whenever we do the other 45, I'm gonna turn, turn it the other way. So the bolt right here, this can be your frame of reference, crosses over this notch here. And then you know you've got the, the correct 45. And I'll do that again in a second. Just to show you, do not turn the machine on. We are gonna slide it on the machine or on the wheel. I have this on here flat. Got to be careful that the, the sharpening fixture doesn't hit the stone. I'm holding the stone and I'm holding the fixture in place. One, two, three, four. I slid it about an inch back and forth four times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, tw
one inch, another inch, two, back, and so on. All right, good to go there. Now I will show you what I meant earlier. So I have it here. Turn it this way. So the bolt, this top bolt passes that notch and goes to the other 45. Get that nice and tight. Now do the same thing. And the cool thing is I have a little mark uh, from when I previously slid it across so I can use that as a visual reference. One, two, three, four, five, Give it a little visual inspection. Looks pretty good, but you could always still, let's still look at it under the microscope whenever you're done just to make sure that it is working or that it worked out. And you can actually leave it at the geometry that it was, but I'm not doing that. If you're unsure, you can do that. You can always put it back in, no big deal. Oh, well, you can see that. Probably can't see it at all, but there is a tiny, there's a tiny little heel on that. You can see it reflected, kind of. It's my shirt is black. And you can see the contrast. See that little dot there? It's really, really small. So you don't need to have a large heel on this for it to, to work for you. And that is how you sharpen a 90 degree graver with the power home.